Hey Knoxville, Fred again here with Lightspeed Construction. I'm on a, another set of buildings over here at the apartment complex at North Knoxville. Um, you know, it's it's repetitive. It's all the same stuff. Major huge stress fractures in the shingles, which are causing you know water to get in, um, rot along the bottom. Like I said this one's pretty bad. I'm getting the lights where you can see it. See, I mean, like they go straight through. It's really bad stress fracture. I mean, there's blisters everywhere. There's another one, you know. Um, uh, you know, if I marked them all, like I said, I'd have to paint the whole roof in chalk. It's just insane. Uh, of course, the ridge cap shingles look horrible. They've been replaced by all kinds of different shingles. Um, over here, you can see one of the ridge cap shingles laying right there. May have probably blown off in a windstorm at some point. Uh, I don't know what's causing this exactly, but this whole shingle has been, it's buckled up. You know, I can stick my fingers under the back of it. You can see the nail coming out right there. This whole area is really boogered up. Um, almost looks like it got really hot and then somebody kicked it, but it's not what happened, of course. But, um, anyways, I've been wondering what in the world could be causing all of these stress fractures, heat-related issues, blistering. So I decided to take a look at the ridge cap. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this. This is not ridge cap. This is some type of corrugated plastic or poly. There you go. And they left a little bitty hole right here. But it only comes up about a half of an inch. Um, as you can see, it almost looks like cardboard on the ends. Oops, let me see here. Almost looks like cardboard right there, but it's plastic. Um, whoever did this didn't, they were trying to cut corners. I mean, look at the blistering on that. I mean, I've, very few times have I seen blistering that bad. Um, so, I'd say 90% of the problem is the fact that this is not vented co correctly. There's, it's, the attic's not letting the heat escape, which is in turn causing all of these problems or a majority of them um so you know hopefully they'll learn their lesson um you know vent the roof correctly it is dire that you vent the roof with correct vents and you know the way it's supposed to be done because this is not the way it's supposed to be done this isn't even cut corners this is this isn't even halfway i mean this is like a makeshift vent it doesn't work it doesn't vent at all so buy the correct vent <laughs> don't don't half-ass it that's basically the lesson of the day thank you